Hey guys, welcome to the Masters Race on August 2nd, Turbo Velo at uh, uh, the Crit Course. Unfortunately, my GoPro didn't work, so uh, this is the only footage we have that we're going to be working on here. I'm going to do the best I can. This is the Crit Course here. This is the finish line over here. So this is uh, looking north. This is going south. The wind is coming from the southeast this way. And this is RG. RG is off the front. He did a wonderful attack. He's on cadence. And we're just going to do the last lap. We can't reenact the whole thing. It'd be too much work and trouble. I don't have the technology yet to do that. RG is off the front. I've done a little bit of chasing. And uh, we have a group behind, a small group. I'm white. Cheney, window and door team. Uh, this is Cadence, RG. He's off the front. And I'm doing some chasing. I'm not going all out. Now, as we get around the turn here... Um, yeah, it's right about in here that Andy, blue kit, goes hard and attacks to catch RG. I get on his wheel. And about here, I think Andy catches RG, but he knows I'm on his wheel. And he kind of sits up and stops attacking. And uh, somewhere in here, the big horse, this is Brett, he's the big guy, this, this, this is bigger. Brett attacks. He senses that Andy is maybe vulnerable. And uh, luckily I see that and I get onto Brent's wheel. So we go into the headwind here, the cross headwind here. And I think RG gets out of the picture at this point. We'll remove him. This is the finish line, the penguin. And uh, we get over here. And so who else is in play here? Uh, uh, we got uh, Bobby. You know, he's kind of bearded and scruffy looking. So this is Bobby. And we have Jorge, older model. He's here. No offense, but you know, he's a master's, uh, older master's rider than some of us young ones, young master's riders. And uh, we have a gap, me and Brent. But neither of us really wants to put in a huge effort here in the headwind. And it's still a long ways. You know, it's like a half mile to the finish at this point. So as we're coming around here, uh, Bobby and Jorge are back on. I think Andy is dropped somewhere at this point. Now, as we get into the turn, it is me on front. I'm not quite sure what's going on behind me, but I'm on the front. And I don't want to be on the front. Just done some work, chasing a couple guys. Okay, arguably I wasn't doing a lot of work. I was mainly chasing guys and not pulling as much. I did refer to an earlier pull. But I'm on the front here and I decide I don't want to be on the front, so I'm kind of going a little bit slow. I'm not going hard here. I'm, I'm breathing really hard, I'm tired. I'm on the right side, so I'm not guttering the group. It's perfectly open to charge up here on the left, and I'm looking back. Nobody's coming, nobody's coming. So then as we go through the chicane here, I go to the left side, and I think, well, I better at least gutter them if I'm on the front. And I'm going even slower, looking over my shoulder, just, I don't know exactly how slow we're going, but you know, we're going maybe like 23. That's what Brent said we were going. And nobody was coming around, nobody's coming around. So this is a very tactical sprint here that we have coming up. Now I should mention Brent is an excellent sprinter. He uh, has won many sprints. I believe he's won the A race before, or I know he's gotten multiple podiums in the A race crit. So he has bested me, including my worst heartbreak of almost making the A race podium third place three years ago, half a bike length, Brent beat me, and I wasn't on the podium. Anyway, so we're going to the critical turn here where we're gonna get this tailwind. Nobody's coming around, and I just have no choice. Wait. Is that bot? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, we got this right. So I go, I don't know exactly what happened. I don't have a rear, rear, rear camera on my bike, so I don't know exactly what happened. But I'm going as hard as I can. I looked at the data. I barely cracked a thousand watts. I mean, pitiful. And 
my top speed going here was 34 and a half miles an hour. Again, not very good. I get around the final turn and I'm in the front. I, of course, not look back. I'm here, I'm here. And as I get closer to the finish line, I start to hear the wheels behind me. Got two sets of wheels behind me here. I start to hear them closer and closer. I put in a little more energy. You're asking, why can you put in more energy at the very end? Shouldn't you have been putting in all your energy? I don't know. Your brain doesn't work sometimes. You're in this weird mode and you're realizing there's a little bit more energy as you're about to lose. All that effort you're about to lose. I go a little more, one more, cross the line first. Maybe about, I'm not sure what the exact bike length was, but it was fairly close. I could, you know, look back and see in my peripheral vision. Cross the line first. Just barely winning and Brent... <coughs> taking second and Bobby third. So that was the <coughs> Masters uh, Cat 1, 2, 3, 4, my first win in that category. And uh, hope that you learned something about tactics and got a feel for the race that, you know, come out. If you liked the way this race was set up and, you know, you liked what you saw and you feel like you can fit in, come on out to the Masters race at Turbo Velo at Richardson. So thanks for watching. Bye-bye.